Okay, the next item on our agenda tonight is draft comments for consideration relating to U.S. 95 draft environmental impact statement presented by Gary Reedner, Les McDonald, and Bill Belknap. Hey, Bill, could you catch the lights? Okay. Oops, sorry. Bottom left. Sorry. His letter. Oh, I didn't even see it. Bottom left. Bottom left. Can't see that far without my The other left. <laughs> Don't worry, Jamie took care of it. Without for my me. red. Okay, well, thanks to Les McDonald for coming up with some video for us or overhead uh, just in the last hour. Um, what the council has before it is a compendium of comments made by city council committees and staff, or excuse me, commissions and staff. As the council um, knows, in December, we received a letter from um, ITD indicating that the draft environmental impact statement had been completed and submitted for the um, US 95 project from Thorn Creek to Moscow. Um, since it had been submitted, ITD was having a public comment and public hearing in their um, parlance on January 23rd at the University in Best Western and invited the public, the city council, and all interested parties to attend. Um, the uh, several council members, in fact, maybe all of them, the mayor and many staff members attended that, as did many members of the public, uh, met with individuals who were representing uh, different aspects of the draft environmental impact statement and got some questions answered, at least were able to voice some concerns. Uh, additionally, ITD was taking uh, written comments up through tomorrow, no, excuse me, up through February 23rd. <clears throat> so, um, in meeting with the mayor uh, and the council president, it was determined that uh, the way to approach this was to uh, submit the letter and inviting comments and copies of the draft environmental impact statement to several city commissions who might have an interest. The first being, of course, the Moscow Transportation Commission, uh, Moscow Planning and Zoning Commission, Moscow Fair and Affordable Housing Commission, um, the Moscow Sustainable Environment Commission, and the Moscow Human Rights Commission. Uh, we received information back. Uh, staff, most notably, Public Works, uh, Les McDonald, Public Works Director, and Bill Belknap, our Community Development Director, both uh, did staff reviews of the draft environmental impact statement and brought issues before their respective commissions, Transportation, um, Planning and Zoning Commission, and Fair and Affordable Housing Commission. Uh, uh, so those commissions reviewed those comments and put together uh, draft comments which then were presented to uh, the Council Public Works Committee uh, <clears throat> last Monday. Uh, the uh, Planning and Zoning Commission's uh, minutes were uh, drafted by Bill Belknap and were approved by the Planning and Zoning Commission. Uh, you have a letter in your packet from uh, Nancy Nelson, the chair of the Transportation Commission. Um, I'm sorry, I forget the... Uh, I can just look. The Fair and Affordable Housing Commission. Maxwell. Maxwell. Yes, Jill Maxwell, I'm sorry. No disrespect intended. Um, and um, Andy Boyd, the chair of the Sustainable Environment Commission, all submitted written comments. Uh, the Moscow Human Rights Commission um, were informed by their liaison, Chief David Duke, and no comments were received from them. Uh, those staff and commission comments were then presented to Public Works Finance Committee last Monday, and Public Works Finance Committee directed staff to uh, take these voluminous comments, I think a total of about nine pages, and put them together in a comprehensive letter for consideration by the council. So uh, with the assistance of Les McDonald and Bill Belknap, uh, we put these together and tried to hit all of the points without repeating those points both the general points and the specific points that could be referenced back to specific uh, articles within the draft environmental impact statement. Uh, the idea was for the council to get this amalgamation of uh, the input from these commissions and staff 
and then to direct staff how they want that letter to be polished and prepared for the signature of the mayor, the mayor and the council president, or the mayor, council president, and the city council, depending on how the council wants to approach that. Uh, again, it must be in by uh, the end of business day on uh, February 23rd. Yes, February 23rd. Forget what month we're in. That's right. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Gary. Appreciate that. And if I may, really, Bill and Les have done the technical review on it, so uh, technical questions can certainly re be reviewed or uh, referred to them, and I will answer whatever else I can. Okay. Um, and Bill or Les, do you have anything to add at this point, or would you like to, you're available for questions, council members? Who's handed? I see up here. Tom, was up. Tom? There was a reference on which page of the the letter to ITD, the proposed letter to ITD from the city, there's a reference to C2, and I think it's meant to be C3. It's just a Scrivener's question. Is that? Where's that, Tom? I'm sorry. I'm trying to find it right uh, now. It's, it's page, oh, it's on page, page two. Page two of eight, number Section three. Section three. You're exactly That's right. That's right, yeah. Is that it should be C3. C3, right? Okay. Yes, yeah, sorry about That's that. That's just a Scrivener's thing. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Well, I know that some people are here tonight who've come to speak about this issue, and I want to just acknowledge that we've received a number of um, um, letters or emails from folks, and let me just read off the names of those we have on file that the council have had access to um, for tonight's meeting, and I am going to invite public comment, um, ask you to... Uh, as usual, you know, state your name and address for the record and to keep your remarks as brief as possible. Uh, to try not to reiterate what's been said before you. If you agree with somebody, it's fine to say that. And if you have particular points that you would like to emphasize. But uh, the council is in receipt of uh, letters or emails from Lottie Forbes, the Palouse Prairie Foundation, Christina Baldwin, Del Hung Hungerford, I'm sorry, I don't know if the council received that. I sent that to our, our city clerk, uh, a correspondence from Ms. Hungerford to me. Uh, <coughs> David Hall, Al Poplowski, Steve and Mary Ulrich for the Paradise Ridge Defense Coalition, Stephen Flint, or is it Stephen, I'm sorry, and um, David Skinner. Um, and even if you've sent those, you're certainly welcome to, uh, to speak tonight. Uh, we also have the letters that Gary noted from the Moscow Transportation Commission, Planning and Zoning Commission, Fair and Affordable Housing Commission, and Sustainable Environment Commission. If you sent something and I didn't say your name, please let us know that and we'll try to track it down so the council can make a um, reasoned decision tonight. Uh, with that, let me, in, it's not a public hearing per se. I want to thank you all for the thoughtfulness of the documentation I have read, for the testimony that I heard provided at the uh, Idaho Transportation Department public hearing on the draft environmental impact statement held on, I think, January 23rd. Uh, anybody want to speak to this issue tonight? Please come up and let us know who you are.